Martin from Bug Bounty Service. And today we are going to have a look at the open redirect vulnerability. So first of all, we talk quickly, what is an open redirect? It's effectively, if you have a, a function where basically an attacker or a user can introduce a URL and the application will then follow it through, right? So I'm going to, to explain this here in a little practical demo. So we are logged into here in, into a management system. And we see here on the right hand side, we have like a securely sign out button, which basically um, is supposed to, to sign you out of your account. Okay. So I have Burp running in the background and Burp is effectively proxying the request. So I hit the sign out button and I move over to Burp. And then I see here instantly, this is the request I just sent. It's currently parked, it's on hold because I'm, I'm intercepting. And I see here at the logout PHP, there is like um, a parameter called reference, REF. And it has a forward slash and the forward slash basically means that we are going to redirect to the homepage, right? Like upon logout, we are redirecting. So me as, a, as an attacker, the first thing um, I would think of is can I actually introduce something else here? Like for example, can I say www.google dot com right and then i forward this and see what happens next and it failed right like so it redirects to the index.php as you can see here so i forward that as well and then i turn my intercept off i go back to the page and you see it goes to index.php but it didn't even find index.php so my attempt failed, okay? But this is usually like an attacker or bug bounty hunter would not automatically um, give up based on that. So what we're going to do is we are looking for this request again here in the verb history, and which was this one, okay? And we're going to send this to repeater so we can play with it a bit more. Um, there's another bug in this specific application because normally now you would not be locked in anymore because if the session management would be working properly you would effectively be locked out but there's another bug and so the session is still valid if i replay this um but that's another bug and we're not focused on that but basically what i'm going to do is okay so you have seen already my first attempt for the open redirect failed what i'm going to do is i'm going to send this to something called the intruder because i want to try multiple payloads and to see how how the application will behave. So I, I will just um, mark my payload position here in Intruder, right? So you see this here with the paragraph signs, and that means I'm going to reiterating through these through this position in order to find hopefully a payload which is going to work. So then I go over to my payloads tab, and in here I have a couple of payloads as you can see here prepared. There's much more right out there, um, but those are typical common ones. So I'm, I'm using like evil.com, which is like a website, a test website out there, just, just to prove the point, could put in google.com or whatever, right? So I'm copying those, I put them in here, and then I, I hit start the attack. And what's it, what it's doing now is effectively, it's going to try every single payload once, right? And you can see this here, it's pretty quick. It was 14 payloads. And then I will need to go through this and see what actually happened and did it work? So you can see the first payload here, which was this one. Um, don't worry about the percentage signs. That's simply uh, URL encoded. So before it sent it, it was URL encoding it. That's fine. It's still the same um, payload. And what I'm more interested in is the is the response basically, right? So the first one failed already, right? So I, I can see this clearly here. It, it completely failed. Um, because um, it redirects to the index PHP, right? So what about the second one? The second one failed as well, redirects to the index PHP. The third one, um, service not available, so the 503s, I'm not even interested in them. Let's check this one, payload number six. This looks better, right? Because it shows me it actually redirected to evil.com forward slash forward slash evil.com. So I retake this request and basically send it over to repeater and then in repeater, I will repeat that again, right? So <laughs> I will basically uh, launch this again and I get my 302 and which is a, a temporary redirect. 
basically the 302 code stands for a temporary redirect and then I follow the redirection, right? And so I do this and you can see the next one is actually a get request to evil.com. So it successfully worked. I can render this over here and you see like now I'm redirected to uh, evil.com, right? What I also can do in Burp is a nice little feature so I can right click the request and I can say show response in browser. And then effectively I can see this, how it would look like in, in the browser actually. And then I just paste it in here and have it give it a go. And then you can see it redirects to evil.com. So um, people ask, well, what, what kind of vulnerability is this? or how can this be useful? And is it dangerous actually? And uh, yes. So on its own, a redirect has typically a low impact. So it's considered to be a low vulnerability, but it is often like, chained with other vulnerability types. So another vulnerability type here could be, for example, that you are able to leak an access token or something like this. So if you consider an OAuth flow or something, um, you could effectively leak a token out to a server you control. That's when it gets a lot more dangerous. Or you could use it like in phishing attempts that, um, you know, users might click a link because they see, well, it's going to company A ABC and I trust them, but then the redirect parameter redirects them to say a malware server or something like this. So there's, there is use uh, for open redirects. Uh, open redirects also come into play when it comes to SSRF, which we will talk about in another video. But for now, I just wanted to demonstrate like a, a quick uh, overview on how open redirect vulnerabilities are found and how they look like. Thank you very much.